But if that mental state and that conscious awareness is in that kind of a linguistics, can I tell you, until the two world meets, you're in contradiction. <laughs> that's right. And that's why you don't have manifestation, because you're in contradiction. But when your inner speech matches your outer speech, that's when manifestation, mis manifestation takes place. They've got to be paired together. It's got to become one. When they become one, that's when you manifest. If you are not manifesting, something is out of sync. One of your worlds is not in sync with the other. Amen. That's what you call being, um, having a double mind, mother. And, and a double-minded man is what, mother? What does the Bible say? Double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. They didn't say one, all his ways. <laughs> And all, that means everything is off, mother. And he, he, he's not going to be done with that. And, and he can obtain nothing of the yes. Lord. Because in time you have two. Mm. When Jesus, God only spoke, talk about one. Yes. I and my father, one. Mm. You say that I and my father. It's Jesus. only when it's become two, then it's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we only have one head. Mm. Jesus, oh my goodness. We only have one head. When you come along, there's the one head. There's yes. the head of the church. Yes. You don't see two heads. No. No. Because then it's time to come to, you messed up. Mm. And that's why we didn't see, you know, it was God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, but it was the Godhead, the one. Amen. There were, there were no schisms there. There was the three, as they used to say in old Baptist church, <laughs> the three and one. <laughs> Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Only one. It's just one. Oh my goodness. Okay, read on. We're gonna. We're almost done. We're almost done. And if you dwell on that yes. one, um, Prophet um, Kelly, I'm just thinking. If you dwell on that one, anything you get ready to do, when it only become one, if you just dwell on that one, that would save you a lot of trouble, mm. and it yes. would keep you out of trouble. That is true. Mm -hmm. That is true. That is very true. Just remember, I and my father are one. That's right. I don't care what it's saying over there. I don't care what it's saying over there. I don't care when I and my father are one. That's right. Now, this is going to help somebody. I, I heard that's God said, tell me it's going to help somebody this week. Yeah. So you're going to be faced with something that's going to cause you to look or desire to look in another direction. What you've got to realize that I and my father are one in this situation. There is no other. Amen. It doesn't matter what it is. Maybe it's a sickness that will come up. You've got to realize that I and my Father are one. In Him is perfect healing and wholeness. Amen. It could be a situation that comes up with a bill. Maybe a foreclosure yes. sign you're ready to put on the house. Guess what? You've got to realize that I and my Father are one in this situation. Okay, now somebody's going to need this. Amen. Anybody want to say anything before we go on? Okay, Prophet Andrew, read on. We're almost about ready to wrap up. Yes. The force that brings forth form from the formless void. Let's start that over. The yes. force that brings forth form from the formless void. No, come on, read it as a question because it's just really Right, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The question is. That's right. The force that brings forth form from the formless void. So in other words, what is that form? What is that force, right. Prophetess Kate? Yes. Words. Words. <laughs> <laughs> it's your words. Words. That's all. God said, let there be light, and there was. Words are ideas given specificity and shape. And this transformation gives them power. Think about when you make lists. You are putting perhaps partially formed thoughts into form. Precise words and taking them from the realm of the expression less to the expressed. That exactitude causes calls forth the energies of existence to turn those words into reality. Every one of your words will be expressed somewhere, somehow, as an action. Stop. It is your words that begin to call forth the energies of existence to bring forth your manifestation. It's your words. It's what you say. Amen. You know, they say, think before you speak. Think before you speak, because someplace those words are beginning to form. Yes. They're calling forth the energy of the universe to begin to manifest those words. Now, because you may not see it right now, doesn't mean it's not happening. That's right. Amen. Some of you say some things and you say, well, you know, it didn't happen. No, you may not have seen it happen expressed yet. But guess what? It has expressed itself on the spiritual realm and is coming into your physical experience. 
So be mindful what it is that you say. Continue. However, however, this also means that idle words have consciousness, consequences. However, this also means that idle words have consequences. So we go back again to our guiding principle, govern your mind. Stop, 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 stop. I want you to type that in the chat room. Just type in govern, no, no, no. Let, let, let's make a positive affirmation. I will govern my mind. Come on, type that in. I will govern my mind. Come on, type that in the chat room. I will govern my mind. Continue reading, Prophet Saint. Watch and be careful with the thoughts you think and the words you speak, because their nature will determine the nature of what comes into your life. Weak thoughts are followed by weak words and eventually by weak actions and outcomes. As Charles Finmore writes, Jesus said that a man would be held accountable for every idle word and a close, close observation of the power of mind in the affairs of the individual proves this to be true. What we think, we usually express in words, and our words bring about in our life and affairs whatever we put into them. Amen. Your words are going to bring about in your life and your affairs whatever you put into them. Remember, you are the expression of God. So begin to speak as God did. God never doubted anything. So why do you doubt? When God spoke, it happened. There was a whole lot of conversation going on. When he spoke, it just was. Stop having all this conversation. Just speak it, and so it will be. It's when you start getting up in the conversation. What am I talking about the conversation? The conversation of your mind, what other people are saying. When you already know what God has said. So you begin to speak that and hold on to that until it manifests. You don't let it go. The law of attraction, you keep, you keep focusing on it. You keep your attention right there. You don't let it go. Even though everything else looks like hell is breaking loose all around, guess what? I know this is what God has said. I'm holding on to it. I'm not letting go because I know what you said, Lord. And at your word, that's what, that's what I am holding on to. Amen. And as I speak it, so shall it be. So hold on. You are the expressed image of God. So go ahead. Be God. Just do what God does. What does God be? He begins to speak those things into existence. Go ahead and begin to speak some things into your life this week. There's some things that you just need to manifest this week. Amen. Forget about last week, it's gone. We talk about this week coming in. Some things you need to make happen. And to you right now in your physical being, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. But let me give you a little hint. You created the scenario. You only created the scenario so that you could rise up and be God in it. Nobody puts you in the place you're in right now. Now, we're talking about growing up. I'm not talking to babes here, because babies think that it's everybody else's fault. When you grow up, you realize that you create your own reality. So you've created your own reality. Whatever it is you're in, you created it. So now you create it only to prove to yourself that you are God. So now, have another thought. Have another thought. Here we go. Have a little thought with Jesus. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> tell them, tell them all about your trouble. And then go, you know what's going to happen? You will hear your cry and you'll answer by and by. <laughs> Amen. You will hear it and you'll answer. Go ahead and work it out. Amen. God bless you. I'm just a minute past. We are good today. Amen. God bless you. I hope you got something out of today's teaching. And we want you to. Amen.